checking my orchids this morning. Right there is a Bulbophyllum japonica. It's got little fat little juicy bulbs, they mounted it. Finally, it did a mount. It'll be here. Dendrobium ephilum. It's got a nice new growth. Catlia lindleyi. See there that it's starting to get new growths. This one here, right there, bottom of that bulb. It's Denema polybourbon. You can see right there that it's starting to grow. So this time I'm not soaking it, I'm just giving it like a light water. It seems to like that better than being soaked. These dendrobium nobilies are still pushing out new growths. Kenyanum there. Catlia, mini Catlia with the new growth here. It's got a lot of new growths on the other side. Two Heptotes bicolor. Um, just keeping it slightly moist. Lake Hasty. There's a big, huge yellow flower. It's got a new growth coming on there. One of the most prolific, prolific flowering orchids you could ever have is a Maxillaria variabilis. The flowers are kind of a musty smell, though. This is the one that's the coconut orchid, Tunifolia. Looking forward to that when it flowers. Catlia Boringiana has got a new growth coming along. Hmm. New growth popping out everywhere in my mini orchid jungle. Anyway, thanks for watching this little update. It's a nice new growth here on this Catlia hybrid. I think it's a um, Epicatlia. Beautiful flowers, no fragrance, unfortunately. This big, huge, nobly. There's a new cane growing there. It's the one right there, too, coming away. Keep them well fed with this nice pellets there. And it's Tomaflek Napori. And this one here. Forget its name. It's a Epicatlia. Amazing flowers, amazing. But, well, it's got a new growth coming away there. Nice. Growing steadily. <coughs> Fortunately, no fragrance. This one has some fragrance. Min gold. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye. Welcome back, my name is Newman, and this is my new purchase. Couldn't resist to get this bulb of film. And it looks to me like it's been growing on a very large slab or uh, mounting and it's a piece has been cut off which is this is the smart thing to do it's been cut off from the main plant and then that piece has been firmly held on to this as a mounting right so now the roots have been disturbed and some of you have maybe guessed what this is. This is Bulbophyllum ambrosia. It's got a very nice name. It's also called the sweet smelling Bulbophyllum found in China, Hong Kong and Vietnam. 
evergreen and semi-deciduous forests and it typically grows on limestone cliffs, mossy rocks and tree bases at elevations of about 300 to 1,300 meters. It's a hot to cool growing lithophyte, so it likes to grow on rocks, which is kind of interesting for a bulbophyllum. It has a single flowered inflorescence arising from old and new pseudobulbs, which are, freely, which are uh, sweetly fragrant, bitter almond scented flowers. Mm. And the flowers are striped. This is a nice healthy plant, I'm really happy with it. Yeah. Just thought I'd show you that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.